Okay. Playing FTL one more time. Strike day nine. Going into strike day ten. Still on strike at TBO outside of 2180 Young Street. We're going to go back to our Zoltan Cruiser. With our Devil May Care strategy of selling our Zoltan Shield and going for a Burst Laser. Just gotta share this online and then I'll get going. I'll be honest, I am doing these streams just for one dude who has told me repeatedly that this brings him like a little bit of comfort. And to be honest, that's enough for me to be like, okay, let's just keep doing this. Shout out to Harry, who is like the most enthusiastic dancer I've seen on the picket line. I, I can't even imagine mustering up that much gusto. All right, here we go. We're almost ready to get going. Siri for some I couldn't reason. find girl from spreading it. Siri for some reason, like, oh, my computer is like starting to ask me questions. All right, let's do this thing. So yeah, another day of striking at TBO. A lot of energy, a lot of positivity on the line. I had a lovely conversation with a woman today named Helen, who stopped me as I was carrying a bunch of signs to pick it. And she was telling me all about how she loves watching a show on TVO called... Let me see if I can find it. TVO Train Show. Bill Nighy. Do a search for that. It's called The World's Most Scenic Railway Journeys. And, it, and it's like an example of the kind of programs that TVO brings to audiences in Ontario. I remember way back in the day being super excited to watch every episode of Victorian Farm, which is a show about a bunch of British archaeologists and historians living a whole calendar year on like a Victorian style farm and really going back in time and living that life. Um, very formative for me, kind of informed me like, okay, so this is the kind of programming that TVO likes to put on air and it's it's an amazing show anyway this, this woman helen was a lovely person we had a good chat about that she and i complained about how um edwardian farm is only available on is the only series of theirs that's available on dvd in region one but i told her if and this is me advertising for a different channel i don't mind doing this now but if you go to absolute history on youtube you can find victorian farm edwardian farm wartime farm and Edwardian Pharmacy or Victorian Pharmacy, you can find those shows up there. Absolute History is an absolute gem of a YouTube channel, and it is highly recommended that you check that out. Okay, so we are back to it here. Right now our subsystems are doing pretty poor, and if we go up against a ship that has more than two shields we are going to be in a bit of trouble we learned that a halberd beam does two damage so that means it can go through one shield no problem but it can't go through two shields i don't think we do have a burst laser mark ii which is arguably one of the best weapons in the game so we can power that down power this up our weapon subsystem only has three upgrades to it so we can't have both of these going at the same time so i think by default i will have the halberd beam active 
and I'll go to the burst laser if it's needed. It would have been good to have kept that missile that I had before, but we need the scrap, basically, to uh, to get what we needed. So we're going to slowly make our way across, trying to keep in advance ahead of the, uh, the rebel advance. Hopefully we don't get into too much trouble. Main issue right now is that we're not really seeing that much in this sector. Okay, uh, you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. So if we had 45 scrap, we could get Steli, who's a mantis. But as it is, they have one shield, and we are going to attack them. And I believe if we are good enough, we should be able to get them to surrender one of their surrender their mantis, uh, that slave, enslaved individual to us. Hopefully we'll be able to avoid some of these shots. We might take some damage to our shields, that's okay. I think I'll move engines over to get those shields fixed. So they are powering up their FTL drive. I'm gonna start attacking their... Let's see if we can get their shield systems and their engine subsystem. Let's get those going. There is a good chance that they are going to be able to escape us. That's just... that is what it is. Yep, and we are now on fire. <laughs> this is going well. So they're gonna jump away, but we're not gonna worry about that. We will take this as a loss. That's okay. challenge that we're having now is most of our guys here are not doing well for health but we can vent these hallways so we can deprive the uh, fire of its oxygen we can get back to fixing things up here so it's definitely a challenge when you go for a strat and you sort of deprive yourself of the initial strengths of your ship. A big strength of the Zoltan ship is that you do get that Zoltan shield, which allows you to take up to five hits for free. Not having that is hard. And right now for our ship too, it means that if we take one hit to our weapon subsystem, then our halberd beam just stops working, basically. So that makes it kind of doubly hard. Um, but this is a this is a new ship, new strat. We're gonna keep working on it. The halberd beam is a really good weapon to have. So we're gonna stick with it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we gotta. Another pirate coming after us. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scan quickly reveals a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you. Damn it. You weren't expecting company to stay out of this and you could profit. So we can accept their bribe or we can be a hero and we're going to be heroes. Because why the hell not? What's the point of life if you're not going to do your best to try to help other people? That's what life is all about, it's helping others. So we're going to do a bit of damage to their weapon subsystems and to what looks like a empty hallway. Engines and stuff will take damage too. We're just going to leave the weapons as the, the laser as is. Now that their shields are down, they're going to be taking two shots. No, the shields are back up, that's fine. But when the shields are down, this halberd beam is going to do two damage per like hit basically so we could accept a lot of um resources or we can go for more scrap i'm gonna say we continue for scrap i think that's probably the best thing to go for we need the scrap to upgrade our weapon subsystems i believe it's 35 scrap plus 
45 scrap for the next two. And that's on top of, you know, a, a lot more. Uh, the Pirate's Victim jumps away. Totally cool. The challenge that we have now is figuring out what we want to go for. So I could go for two shields now. That's definitely feasible and it's probably the best option right now just for extra defense. You stumble across a rebel ship distributing supplies to local civilian colonies. It's probably not anything military grade, but every little bit helps. So we can steal the supplies from the civilians or we can attack the rebels. I think we stick with the rebels and leave the civilians alone. They're innocent in all this, so let's just go for this fight. So again, we can do 4 damage here. We're probably going to take a shot uh, from that missile that they have. Having one shield in the second sector is not great, I will say. Um, but it's not the worst thing. We will be able to do enough damage to them, probably to keep their uh, some of their weapons offline, which is fine. I know I've taken a bit of damage to my oxygen subsystem, but that's honestly not too big of a deal. It's it's totally fine. Uh, my oxygen is at 68% right now. So as long as it doesn't get down to like zero, it's 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 not a big deal. And there we go. So let's see who's good at repair. And a pilot's good at repair. And we'll just let Pilot have the whole repair. Okay, um... With the Rebel Ship destroyed, you take time to collect what little scrap remains. It's not a lot. They had already made their delivery to the civilians. Those are civilians. They're not combatants, not soldiers. So we're gonna leave them alone. You leave the civilians with supplies, though without rebels... Without the rebels that were running supplies to them, they're unlikely to live very long. So, we may have doomed them anyway, but, uh, who knows, maybe they're crafty, <laughs> crafty civilians and stuff. So, as we're waiting for this to get fixed here, there we go, let's get everyone back, we're going to move to the next system, probably, we could go for two shields. Though we don't really have a lot of ore power for that. Well, let's jump to the next sector, see what's up. This is only the first place that we're in. The rock system is interesting. My only fear with that is that they will have pretty powerful ships that will be able to take some hits. And they have, like, kind of inherent, def inherent defense, so... I think I'll go for the Engi. So we'll go here. Let's see if there's a sh store. There's no store. That's okay. Let's go for shields too. We'll say okay to that. We have one extra power here. Not enough for two. What I'll do... We take engines out. How does our... We go to 10% to... Uh, 10% evasion, which is not great. Take weapons out. Halberd beam takes a lot more time to load. Um, I think we just have to wait to do a couple more fights. One more fight, and we shouldn't have, have enough scrap to improve our, uh, our reactor core. You notice an Enki colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War. Okay, I didn't know we had gone to war with the Mantis people. And they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. We can, burby, we can booby trap the cache or we can secure the cache. I don't know what the difference is. I think if we booby trap it, that delays the rebels advance, which could be good. So I'll give that a go and see what the the text is like. Okay, uh, you transfer down some missile warheads and the Engi rig them to blow before sending a distress signal to attract the fleet's attention. So the fleet is delayed by two jumps, which is great, which means we can spend more time, you know, running across the stars here. 
no fight in this sector. Uh, this is the site of a recent battle, so free resources, that's amazing. Let's get our two shields going. So now we're a bit more powerful here. Let's see what this next fight is. So we got a fight. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings, and nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools. And they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move in for the attack. That's a bit bizarre. But we can go after these four rooms here. Luckily with the halberd beam, beam weapons like that, like lasers, it, there's no faffing about when it comes to uh, maneuverability or anything like that. So, you know, we... <laughs> We don't have to worry about them avoiding our attacks. Right now we are taking quite a bit of damage though from these missiles that are hitting us, but not too bad. Two fuel, 13 scrap. Not the best. Let us move here and let's send pilot over to fix the door subsystem. And we should be good to go. Honestly, Doors is probably not the best person to be doing all these uh, repair stuff. If you use your pilot for anything but, you know, piloting, your ship's like, defenses basically go like way down. So we could go for more power, but we don't think we need it right now. Got our two shields back. And we're really just going to be saving up for our weapon subsystem, because as soon as we get that burst laser going, will be will be better so the refugee ship okay so let's say what's up so we could trade for them trade with them uh okay does this mean we get nine fuel for four i think so that's an awesome trade i'm i'm literally in no need for fuel anymore for like a long while Okay, here we go. Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. That sounds interesting. It could be a trap. We could send an away party. I mean, we're on Sector 2, so in case something bad happens, like the last time we played, I could just reset. So, let's send an away party. You find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you about another secret base. They gave you coordinates, uh, and... Quest marker has been added to your map. That is quite a far quest marker, but we will make our way towards it. Okay, cluster of Engi. So not a lot of fights yet, but we will get there. So we have a distress beacon over there. That's a guarantee for something. Okay, rebel ship is guarding the beacon. You order a pursuit course. They've got themselves quite an arsenal of things, but we have our quite an arsenal of halberd beam. We can hit five subsystems all at the same time. You have to imagine that, plus the ability to shoot a burst laser, and you can see the power of this build. Hopefully we'll be able to avoid getting shot at by their... freaking laser that they have. I think we should be okay. It's just a matter of waiting now. But, you know, eventually when we get to ships that have two shields, it is, um... It, it, this, this weapon's not going to be useful anymore after that. Okay, here we go. So let's head to the Distress Beacon. Let's see what's up. The Distress Beacon is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited, uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew can't approach it without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix it or disable it. Let's help them out. We might take some damage. 
but could be worth it. You consider your options. You can fire on the defense system from a distance. I think this is a case where if you had like an Engi or Zolt, not Zoltan, maybe even a human or some other people on your ship, you might be able to solve this with a crew person. Or maybe it's a specific subsystem that you need to have to fix this, but let's see what happens when we fire at it. So it took a bit of damage. Now you fire a few volleys. Five hull damage is pretty bad. So, <laughs> took some damage, and we got a crew, uh, we got a hull breach as well. So not the most successful uh, effort to help those people, but what matters is that we tried, I think. Ship is healed up, no one took any damage. Let's keep moving on. So we have two stores around us. We're going to go to this beacon here, and then we'll head to that store. Okay, you over here some Mantis Calm Chatter. The one on the right is starting to rot. Take him down, take off his fingers, put him out the airlock. That sounds kind of gross. Let's take these guys down. Here we go. So let's see if we can get these four. Yeah, we can. Luckily, this Mantis ship doesn't have a teleporter. That would be troubling. The problem that we're having right now is that with the way our ship is working, we are dealing with so little evasion that we are taking hits all the time. And that's going to be really difficult to deal with. Um, I see I'm gonna take a hit there, yeah. So, okay, some scrap and some stuff, so nothing much, but that's okay. Um, honestly, it's, it's one of those things where there's a bit of debate online about what the best strategy is, and some people say, okay, you don't even bother with getting, like, shields level 4. Just go all for evasion, and you can get to, like, 45% evade. So, like, you know, about half the shots that most ships are firing at you are, are missing. So, and we've taken so much hull damage at this point that I'm not sure how viable this, this run is anymore. But let's work on that. Let's head to the store and see what they got. Okay, they've got another Halber Beam. An Ion Blast 2. That's pretty powerful right there. That's pretty good, but I'm not going to get that. We also have a small bomb, which is an interesting uh, thing. Crew teleporter, we have that available to us. Scrap recovery arm, it's not too bad. Mm, the people might be interesting, but honestly, at this point, it might be worth it just to focus on getting our... <laughs> weapon subsystems going uh, we are at 85 is what we need I wonder if it's anything that we can sell not really the weapons are fine we could use a new crew person but you know that's it's not too big of a deal to have just three still I think I'm gonna take a risk and I'm gonna stick with what we got I'm not going to repair my hull quite yet. So we can buy some fuel. I think we're good for fuel right now. Let's go to this quest. This might actually unlock us a new ship. Oh, wow. After a quick search, you discover the Hidden Federation Space Dock. They offer you some supplies in addition to fully repairing your ship. Wow. Alright. <laughs> that just solved... Uh... A lot of our problems and will allow us to get to uh, two power, uh, two more subsystem power, which is awesome. And I'm going to take that. The challenge is now is we have to do at least two more fights in order to get some more reactor stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to really um, win many fights in the next area. Oh, it's, a, it's a nebula or a mantis controlled spot. I do not want to go for the mantises. 
but I also hate nebulas. Okay. So nebula subsystems are interesting because you can basically go all the way across here and not really be affected by the rebels. I'm pretty sure as long as you're here, you don't have to worry about them advancing. The trouble is, is that every single time you go into a nebula, you have to deal with sort of unknown conditions. It can be something like an ion storm, which can affect your subsystems. So we take a risk every single time we jump. We don't know what will be waiting for us. So there's a rebel ship here. Uh, we're going to take fights, basically. Oh, wait, we can't. Interesting. For some reason, we can't fight that person. Okay, whatever. No big deal. Uh, this distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. This is the same thing as before. But we fire on it, and we actually do a good job this time. Okay. 15 scrap. So that's more power. We can almost afford to have our shields back. Let's see if we can keep going. We might just cross all the way across all this stuff here. Let's go for it. Okay. You emerge quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting. Dally Station looking to look for you. We're going to attack them here. They've got themselves a transportation system, which is not great, but not a big deal. We go after these four subsystems, maybe. Uh, we can go to three subsystems. I really want to get four. I'll go this way. I think we have to stick with three. Okay. I guess we can go this way, so we can get four. Okay. So they are sending someone into our ship. So they're here, right here. So what we can do is we can actually open this up. And we can basically take the oxygen out of those systems. And, you know, harm them that way. Take some damage to our shields. Let's get... Actually, we won't even have our shields activated anymore. We are not going to accept their surrender. I think we got this one in the bag. Okay, perfect. So we took them down, got some scrap. I think that's probably enough scrap to get us the, uh, the reactor cores that we need. So I'm getting to a point now where I'm pretty powerful, which is awesome, but I'm starting to require different things for my ship. Specifically, I think I need to focus a lot more on uh, reactor power. Oh, okay. Uh, rock armor transport looks like they have lost its bearings. But when you hail them, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, you we find you repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave now. Uh, we could leave, or we can fight them. I'm just gonna say leave. You know, this this is a bad subsystem. There's like a lot of ionic storm stuff happening in there, so we're not gonna bother with that. Okay, uh, navigating the feet. The fog blind, you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pa, this is a transgression that will this transition will be overlooked. Maybe they're very dangerous. Next time humans all die. <sighs> Honestly, they haven't done enough to really piss me off, so I'm just gonna let them <laughs> let it slide. I, I know I'm missing a few fights here, but you know, quite honestly, it's I don't want to attack vessels that don't want to don't want to fight me. Speaking of, we've got our full. Oh, they're, 
Their ship is so weird. We've got our full contingent of weapons ready to go here. Let's go after their shields. They will send someone to our ship as well. They are in the oxygen subsystem. So we are going to... Deoxygen... Deoxygenate? Is that the word? All this stuff. One, two, three. Okay. Got that. Hopper Beam will take care of the rest. I will send my burst laser back to go for their that. Looks like they are coming for a shield subsystem, but I'm pretty sure they're going to end up getting destroyed. The ship explodes, we get their stuff. The Mantis is still fighting. But I think the lack of oxygen took care of that. Upgrading your doors is a really important thing, and this ship comes with it, like already upgraded doors, which is a big deal. It can really help a lot with those, you know, people boarding your ship. So, but it's still not a fun thing to have to deal with. Okay, so this is an automated ship we're going to attack. It's got two ion beam weapons, which is interesting. It's not the most uh, effective thing to use. Simply because it's like... I guess I could send weapons. There's a fire going on in the oxygen room now, though, which is bad. We have to get that fire under control. It's, um... I don't even remember what I was saying before. But that doesn't really matter. Um, it's not the best strat for this thing to have two of those ion weapons. Um, but, honestly, they're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage to us. Just for the fact that they're able to shoot so fast. These ion things really only make sense if you're using it for, um, using lasers, I think, honestly. Okay, shields are down. This is in the bag. I'm honestly not looking forward to sending everyone through to fix the oxygen subsystem. That is going to be challenging to repair, but we'll just sh send everyone that way. Uh, we'll investigate the station. We got a breach bomb, Mark II, which is actually an amazing thing to have gotten. Hopefully we'll be okay. Weapons, not doing very well. Okay, we got the oxygen subsystem going. And we are hanging on by a thread. <laughs> with our people. It's, it's really lucky that the Engi are able to power up subsystems. Like that, they, that was really close. That was almost too close for comfort. So the weapon we just got, which is the Breach Bomb Mark II, is actually really, really good and could do a lot to help us fight the uh, to fight the flagship coming up. Because you can basically zip it into any of those weapon subsystems that the ship has. And... Yeah, that's, that's good. That's actually pretty good. Okay. So let us take stock of what we got. Take that out. And let's get our burst laser going. A breach 2 will leave for now. I think we gotta start thinking about upgrading our engine subsystem. We have 78 scrap. I think there was a store nearby. Maybe there wasn't. But let's start to upgrade this. So we can do one, 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 one. So we can get two extra engines. Which brings us up to 25% dodge, which is pretty good. So I think that will be the focus of the next few sectors, is doing that. We get a hull repair drone for free. Cool. 
Uh, automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage to your hull per drone part. Required power is 2. Alright. <laughs> Maybe you can do that, like, any time? I, I don't know how that really works, but... That's, that's pretty sweet. Might be something just to sell, but... Let's keep going. So, we can buy some fuel. I think that's a good idea, honestly. We are kind of lacking in the fuel department right now. Looks like we got a fight. Okay, it's powering up this FTL drive, which is kind of annoying. So, this is an example where we have to take down the shields first before we actually are able to fight it. So, we will do that. So, timing that is a little challenging, I think. We'll have to wait for the burst laser to hit. Okay, so that's great. Normally, I would attack its weapon subsystems, but we have to attack its piloting subsystems right now. Just to prevent it from running away. But we will do it like this from now on. Okay. Halber beam is a little slow. Ship breaks apart, 16 scrap, not too bad. I can hear a fire, which is kind of weird. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually open up everything but... O2 is low. That's weird. Okay, the fire sound effect has stopped. Maybe we'll take a bit of a pause here and just let the O2 get back to the uh, the level it needs to be. So yeah, it's uh, it's late in the week on our second week of striking. Uh, we actually had some people come down from, and let me get this right. Denmark, uh, who were there, and yeah, so it was the United Federation of Danish Workers who came down to the picket today, and they just came to support us, like they were here in Toronto, I believe at a conference, and they heard about our picket, and they came by, and it was just such an amazing chance to speak to them, and it wasn't it was such an interesting chat that I had had with their leadership, and these were the leaders of the union who were there too, like the the heads of the of the union. And one of the members uh, was telling me that with their union, the way it works is that, and they are uh, two hundred and no, they have around two hundred seventy thousand members, and they represent. Uh, the timber industry, construction unions, trade unions, I believe they represent the Danish workers union, women's workers union, the Danish general workers union, so they're like a conglomerate of different unions, and what he had told me was is that the way it works there is that they have uh, such strength and such power that employers actually pay for the union dues of their union members so he told me that basically the way it works there is there's no excuse not to be in the union because basically you make money from being in it so you're not paying dues the dues are being paid to you and that's just such like a whoa okay that is an interesting idea and maybe that goes into our next round of collective bargaining <laughs> That would be so amazing. And again, like union dues is, is one of those funny things where you hear that about like, you know, union breakers and, and uh, people doing that at like places like Amazon being like, oh, you have to pay your dues. You can't talk to your manager, blah, 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 blah. You can't do all that. But like with a union, you're just so much stronger. And you have so much power when you're in one. 
and it's really amazing to see the power that we wield as a union at TVO. So there are so many creative people that I work with and everyone's such a talent and we have so much power and it's amazing. Okay, here we go. So let's go after its shields. Okay, we got that taken down. And now we're gonna go after its weapons. And that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. That's 18 salvage. We contact the outpost, it's 25 more. See, now we're starting to gain momentum. This is real momentum. We're, we're getting there. So let us upgrade our engines one more time. We're now up to 34% dodge. We'll go to this nebula and then go south. And we're going to exit. Well, we're going to exit the system soon. Okay. Let's see what's here. Nothing. Okay. Not a problem. So we can go to the rebel controlled system or we can go to the slug home nebula. Let's do that. That's new. So the slugs aren't really a race that we've encountered so far. Uh, the only thing that can render a nebula more dangerous is that it's the home of the slugs. This particular nebula is just that. So slugs are a space, yeah, space sparing, <laughs> space faring civilization in this game. And they specialize, I believe in mind control, but I don't know if that is available to them without the advanced edition content uh, activated in the game. So, yeah. And we can see very clearly that you have two options of exploring the system. You can either go through normal space, which is what I'm likely to do, or you can go through the nebula. And I don't know what you have to do in order to... Uh, Let's say the civilian ship. Ooh, this thing is armed to the teeth. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe let's try something different. Let's go for a breach bomb. And we'll attack that. So I don't know what we have to do to encounter like the slug ship unlocking quest, but surely that is a thing. Okay, they have their own breach bomb that they're using too. Our beach bomb is apparently better. <laughs> so I think we're going to be able to take down this ship pretty quickly. Uh, we will turn off that breach. Actually, it got turned off for us. That's okay. We'll wait to get our burst laser back online. There we go. Right, let's keep taking down our weapons. Halberd beam should be there soon. Get our dodge back up. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. 41 scrap. Okay. Civilian ship box away, not a problem. The issue we're dealing with now with this is not one that we've had before, which is where we do not have enough crew. Uh, that really hasn't been an issue previous to this, but this is becoming the issue now. Is that we have a lot of weapons, we have a lot of subsystems, but crew right now is lacking. And that can be dangerous too. Okay. I'm sorry if there's any noise, I'm just moving my laptop. But the breach bomb worked out really well that time. Okay, so let's keep going. We got another fight, sounds like. We got a slug ship coming at us. It's rare for the slugs to stay exposed in open space for long periods. The ship here may be lost or just passing through, but otherwise, either way, it's here to attack. We are going to go for the same strategy that we used last time, which is to use our breach bomb. Uh, this ship honestly doesn't have that much to attack us with. It's got a pretty... Oh wait, oh shoot, our oxygen subsystem is off for some reason. It's got a laser 
and it's got some other stuff, but... Oh, looks like it missed. I think I will just go with the burst laser, though. I think that should be okay. Because if we're able to do two hits to it, right, then we can still get through with our with our guy. Let's see how that works. So one, two. Let's go after its shield subsystem and weapons. Can we get four? I do not think we can get four, which is okay. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, hold on. Okay. So weapons are taken down. This little laser is going to start doing a little bit of damage to us, though. Not happy about that. But that's okay. Okay, this is going to be a bit more challenging, this fight, actually. So we just start taking this a bit more seriously. Oop, that was a mistake there. Shouldn't have let that go. Oxygen is getting low, so that will be challenging. Okay, so they've got a breach in there. So we are free to attack now, do a little bit of damage. Shields have taken a bit of damage now. We are going to move engines over to there. Breach bomb, we will let uh, it continue to work. Now we're dealing with some serious issues when it comes to our oxygen subsystem. Pilot's gonna have to move. Uh, you have bested us. We accept what's in our stores in exchange for our lives. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, sure. Let's let's call a truce here. This is looking bad uh, right now. Okay, everybody, get into the healing bay. Oh my god. Oh my god, what an end. <laughs> Our whole crew died due to oxygen starvation. That should be an achievement. That is the worst. Oh. The worst way to die. I, I, I have no words, honestly, other than... What a, what a newbie way to go. But that is this game. That's what this game is all about. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's go for this again. We'll do a little bit more. And uh, I might call it a night soon. That was too bad. We were doing pretty well there. The burst laser was a bit of a game changer. And so was the... Uh, Breach Bomb, which is a really good item to get. Alright. I should actually check to see if the stream is going, still going. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe I'll turn down the game volume just a little bit. Okay. Let's start again. All right, if I can improve upon what I did last time, I think definitely going for more engines sooner would be good. Two shields, not as necessary as long as we have the Zoltan shield. That makes a big difference. And also understanding that we can use the Halberd Beam right at the start is that something something that I didn't really get last time so let's uh move our way across this sector start getting some scrap the distress signal comes from a small space station they have a defense system will promise to help let's fire we might take some damage by damage to the hull not a great start but oh well Let's do what we can. 
So we're going to hear, uh, see eventually where that breach was, because I can hear a breach sound. Let's move everyone there. Let's get into the engine, the uh, med bay subsystem. Get everyone inside. And that's the thing about the Zoltan too, is that unlike humans and I think most other alien species, they have 70 health uh, instead of the regular 100. Ooh. So that makes them much more squishy than other aliens. Uh, there's a store there. We could go. It's kind of a waste of a movement point since we can't afford anything, so let's avoid that. Let's see what they've got. Uh, you are merely contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your seems to be your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Yeah, let's do it. A space dock is currently under assault from rebels. Although the dock is technically illegal within our laws, is very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. Okay, let's do it. Quest marker. That is a little bit out of the way. Not a problem. We will go there. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. Not the most productive sector so far. Okay, we are in a extremely annoying uh, bit of space right now. This is a star system where basically uh, this can cause fires to erupt in your ship and I find that this is kind of the best way of dealing with it is just kind of open up all your doors and put everything into sort of the void of space so when fires break out across a ship it's already kind of taken care of kind of works uh, it might be a little challenging in this case just because we have to deal with uh, their drone firing at us at the same time plus the fires but I think our shields are recharging fast enough right now so yeah the fires took care of it okay so now we just have to sort of sit and wait no big deal. And we zip away. Uh, let's go kind of up this way and back down. Again, I, I do enjoy going to stores, but only really when I have, like, you know, <laughs> scrap to actually be able to do something with them. Otherwise, you're kind of just like sitting there being like, oh, look at this pretty stuff. I can't afford any of it. Not a big fan of window shopping in my real life as well. Okay. Pretty good damage. Let's go this way this time. Well, let's start with the shields, actually. I'm sure there's some, like, metagame stuff I'm, I'm missing out on. When it comes to like the use of uh, shields and stuff, or use of lasers and stuff like the hover beam. So yeah, bombs as well like that don't affect your. I feel like they don't actually damage your ship unless they're actually targeting a subsystem. So when they attack you like that, it just doesn't really do much. So we got another fight. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools. Same as before. They could actually hack us. And I think we can affect a whole crap load of their systems. So well, let's go after these four, though. It might take a little bit of damage in this. Honestly, getting a uh, an upgraded weapons crew man crew member might be one of the most advantageous things with this build. 
given just how long it takes for the uh, halberd beam to power up. The one ship I'm actually hoping to get access to eventually is the um, Federation Cruiser, which you get access to once you find that quest. So 3 fuel, 8 scrap. Kind of small amounts right now. But once you get the uh, Federation Cruiser... Oh, interesting. Uh, we found ourselves a store before we get into the store. Shield charge booster. That's actually pretty good. But we can't afford it right now. Could sell the Lido for that. <laughs> that could be worth it, actually. But we also do want to make sure that we are... Uh, working our way towards two shields. So we'll avoid that for now. Let's aid the civilian ship. Okay, this is really easy. I wonder if it's worth it to use the Lido. Let's give that a go. <clears throat> we'll see if we can take out their uh, weapon subsystem. Because I think this will be able to fire a bit faster than the hover beam. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So that's taken out. So let's go after these four subsystems if we can. Yep, that's four. We should have this one in the bag. 15 dodge still isn't very good. But we're able to do 2 damage per room because they don't have shield. So easy to destroy. Contact a civilian ship. Okay, we've got ourselves a lot of scrap. We're going to hit this quest. Let's see what's up. Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. We are going to engage the rebel, and we are going to get into a fight with them. No time to faff about. I can see why people might lead with the Lido in this. Just because if you are able to take out the shield subsystem, you can do a lot more damage. But I don't see a, a possible way to yeah, prevent that from happening, which is them just sending their people to fix it. So you end up just having to, you know, do one damage anyway, so. Okay. It's taken out. Let's see what we get through this. Ooh. Uh, we got an achievement unlocked, which is pretty cool. 15 hull point, 5 hull points repaired, which is pretty good. We did take some damage. The Atlas hails you. Thank you. I don't know what we did to anger the rebels, but they were ready to kill us. I'll show you all our goods and patch up your hull. Okay. Whoa. That's... Holy shit. This place has a lot of good stuff. Holy hell. Damn, this place has everything. Okay, um... The Weapon Pre-Igniter is pretty much one of the best augments in the game. It basically allows you to automatically use your weapons right after um, FTL jumping. And I can't afford it. <laughs> it just means selling my Zoltan shield again. Which wasn't the worst strategy last time. The fire beam is also really good. Breach missiles also fine, but these are pretty power intensive weapons. So I don't think we can really afford that right now. We could take another risky, do another risky venture and see what happens. Okay. I would also love to have more crew. We had such troubles last time. I 
think this is going to work out, though. Because eventually, if I'm able to uh, get my weapon subsystems upgraded one more time, I could have a Lido right away. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've got my Halber Beam ready to fire. <laughs> right off the bat. No waiting. And we got another achievement. Uh, 16 scrap and a defense drone mark 2. If we were doing a drone thing, that's actually pretty good, but we're not. I could sell that later. Um, unfortunately, the only issue with this is that it does leave us without... Um... Ah, crap. We can... we can prepare to board and investigate, though we might lose someone. Let's go for it. Oh, ship is abandoned. Okay, that's fine. Um, this will be really advantageous to have the weapon pre-igniter. But it's going to be, yeah, it, it, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, we can uh, fire right away. They don't want to fight us, that's okay. <laughs> and we'll just keep going after them like this. And honestly, I, I don't think they're going to be able to get away from us right now. Only having the one shield is tough though, like that is, that's not easy. Having the Zoltan shield really does make a big difference. Normally you'd be able to do, maybe get away with a little bit less in terms of your, your shield spending, but now we're going to have to actually spend a bit more on our shield. So it wasn't salvageable, however they seem to have been surveying the region. They possess detailed maps and data, you download what you can. I already know, well I've already been through the sector so it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So we go to Mantis or Rock. Either sounds pretty terrible, but maybe we can go for the Rock Control Nebula. That might be tough given our, our makeup with our beam weapons and stuff and the ships being slightly more powerful. But like, it's an interesting... It's interesting to take risks and try something new. The weapons pure igniter is very expensive, but I think it's something that you find mostly in the first sector. So you have to sacrifice in order to use it. So again, this could be a doom run now. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. We are going to be at 21 young 80 between 10 to uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow, so come down, say hello. Uh, I believe some people are going to be elsewhere, so make sure you check out our uh, Twitter for where we're going to be. Let me just get that information for you right now. Our Twitter is at TVO underscore CMG. So check, us, check us out there for a lot of uh, dancing around. We have our own poker room now, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, hope everyone keeps up their energy. It's a challenging time. And uh, just stay strong out there. Lots of solidarity. We have people all the way from Denmark come to tell us that they have solidarity with us and to stay strong. That's pretty awesome. So y'all have a good night.